What's up guys, in one of my latest videos, I showed you how to install these Regal Fabrication bed brackets, bed stiffeners, with all the weight we added onto this truck, it was a good idea. But in that video, we had to remove our swing cases. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to get them to work because of where the brackets go. Spoiler alert, we figured it out. So here you can see, we got our swing cases back installed. Already got the passenger side done. Let me show you how we did the driver side. This will be a short video. It's honestly not that hard at all. Um, but let me show you how we got it done so you can still use your swing cases with these bed stiffeners. In order to get this to work, it's honestly very simple. It worked out much better than I actually thought it was going to. So here we have the driver side Regal fabrication bracket. Here's the driver side swing case bracket. Basically, all we're going to do, you can see our holes that are, that are already drilled in the bed. But you're going to take the swing case bracket, and it, obviously, again, this is the driver side, but it goes for the, it's the same for the passenger side. When you're looking at the four holes, you're going to take the bottom hole of the top two. So these top two holes, you're going to do the bottom one and then the bottom one. Okay, so bottom, bottom. Take those two holes and drill them out to at least a half inch. You might want to go to like a 9 16 or so. Basically, all we're going to do... When the, bed stiffeners, when the bed stiffeners in the bed installed, we are literally just going to be sandwiching the swing case bracket right there and then taking the hardware from the bed stiffeners and going through um, both brackets, okay? And you're gonna sandwich your swing case bracket up against your bed stiffener. That's literally all I did. Now, my... My drill bit that I was using went dull because th this this is some pretty pretty good stuff to have to drill through. So all I'm going to do is, um, it's not going to be the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm literally just going to take my angle grinder and make a notch in here big enough to be able to get the hardware through. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, and then I'll show you putting it back together what I mean. This is very straightforward, very simple. Just want to show you that this actually does work. Okay, so here you can see what I meant by I'm just going to notch it out because my drill bit was garbage and I don't have patience. So that's all I did. Now what we can do is put this over here, take our bolts from the Regal fabrication brackets, and I'll give you a better look. I know my head's probably in the way right now, but we can go ahead and start sandwiching this in between like so. So I'm going to go ahead and you don't want to tighten these down just yet. Sorry about my phone ringing in the background. I'm trying to get this done because we're running out of daylight. But just kind of get these loosely started and installed. Because what we're going to do, we want to make sure that the swing case is going to line up with the back bracket. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and loosely snug these down i'm not going to really take them down too tight because i want to be able to make fine adjustments with the bracket in here if i need to now with the three rago brackets or bolts somewhat snug down we can go ahead and put our swing case on its bracket And once we get the front of the swing case latch, the one, the latch back there that's already fixed to the truck, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to take a pencil and make a mark. I'll take a picture and put it on the screen so you know what I'm doing. Because now we're going to take the swing case back off and do our final tighten down and then reinstall the case make sure it still works. So here you can see the pencil marks. So again, this isn't tightened down all the way. Now that we have the swing case back out of the way, now we can get this, the swing case bracket lined up with our pencil marks. Hopefully you can see them in there as well. And tighten everything down as far as the three uh, Regal fabrication bolts. That way that bracket will be right where we need it. And then we'll put the case back on, make sure it lines up. Okay, you can see we have all three bolts tightened down. The edge of the swing case bracket mark, um, lines up perfectly with our pencil mark. Um, there's two marks in there. Don't pay attention to the back one. That was uh, that was a mistake. So you can see it lines up nice and straight with that other line. All right. And these notches that I made, 
you can see why that's not such a big deal because the washers for the bolts um, more than cover from side to side. So that bracket isn't going anywhere. All right, let's test it out. Take our swing case, put it on its pegs. And I'd like to build the suspense, but I already know this is gonna work because it worked perfectly on the passenger side. Boom, locked in place. So there you go, all right. Definitely a, uh, you know, a pleasant surprise when I did these Rago fabrication brackets. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to use these swing cases, um, but I love them, especially on this hybrid Tundra where we don't have any storage underneath the rear seat. These swing cases come in handy. Again, and you can see, works perfectly fine. All right, so if you want to add these bed stiffeners and you have swing cases, now you know it works. There you have it guys. I know this probably wasn't my best video, but I just wanted to make a quick one showing you that these swing cases will work with bed stiffener brackets, especially the Rago fabrication brackets. Okay, if you have any questions on anything you saw, put them down below, but it's pretty straightforward. You just gotta open up those two holes um, and you know, give yourself enough room to get these fat bolts from the bed stiffeners through the swing bracket cases. And uh, as you saw, don't worry about if you make a little bit too big of a hole, the washers from the Rago fabrication brackets will make up for it. Okay, stay tuned. We have a lot coming down the pipe, including this. I don't know if you noticed it throughout the video, but that is brand new as well. That's gonna be the very next video coming out and we have a lot planned, especially on this bed rack system. So many customizations coming down the, coming down the way that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So any questions, drop them down below. We'll get them addressed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.